Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome to Majelish Nail Salon. If you get it, you get it, yeah. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Hi guys. Okay, so I think a lot of you already know what today's video is gonna be all about. Alright, let's talk about circuit breaker nails. I know many of us are struggling. We miss our manicure and pedicure sessions, but Let's just face it, I think nail salons are probably gonna be open only in phase 3 and that's probably like in the end of the year so during this time, am I gonna allow myself to have um, normal plain looking nails not that it has anything wrong you know, if you probably always do your nails, you're probably not used to having non-manicured nails okay i'm speaking for people like myself so yeah for this reason i have been sourcing everywhere um, to search for sustainable uh, methods to have manicured nails at home so just a little bit of a background usually when i go to nail salons i love a classic gelish manicure session same for my feet i personally prefer gelish to the uh, normal nail polishes because i'm someone with quite a rough lifestyle I go to the gym I play with my very playful puppy Hector um, I do a lot of cleaning at home so I have to deal with a lot of cleaning agents chemicals and I don't usually wear gloves when it comes to that so I'm not very disciplined when it comes to that um, I deal with a lot of factors in my day-to-day -day life that can kind of like maybe um, cheat my nails or make my polish not last that long so um, normal nail polish is not gonna cut it for me it's probably gonna cheat within one week i would say so gelish is the way to go if you don't know what gelish are okay i don't know if you can see this um little light here that i have ding, 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 ding. okay so this is an led light now a lot of times you do see people putting their hand underneath yeah, and then this light will light on. Delish polish is very unique in the sense that uh, when you paint it on, it cures underneath uh, LED light and it is pretty much very durable for the first one month that you decided to have it on. Okay, um, so you can do anything, anything that I just mentioned and it will not chip easily unless you are super duper rough. <laughs> then I don't know how to help you with that, okay? So yeah, um, also, I think I have circuit breaker to blank that I'm now starting to appreciate shorter nails. This is actually my natural nail bed length. I know it's slightly longer than um, the usual length that you would see. Most people that I know, they have tinier nail beds. I have my previous manicurist to thank because she kind of like did this special technique where she kept pushing my cuticles back and just forcing the nail bit to grow. I'm sorry if I'm very lousy at explaining it. And then eventually I just end up having bigger and bigger nail bits and that is fantastic. Even when I cut off all the white parts, it is still looking very long-ish. So that kind of like elongates my uh, fingers and make it very long and slender looking. Alright, I'm very sorry for the very long introduction but we have to kind of cover a little bit of the background information before we jump into this because today we have a very special video. Do you feel like we are in some sort of slumber party because I'm like wearing my PJs and then I have all my nail polish laid out and <laughs> we're gonna be doing our nails together. Yes, you heard it today, I'm gonna be doing my nails together with you. Now you must be wondering but she already has her nails done, okay? So about a week ago, I posted on my Instagram story uh, telling you guys that I've tried out this fantastic nail product that allows me to have gelish nails at home and the best thing is I don't need any complex uh, nail techniques I don't need to buff it off I don't need any special base coat, top coat or acetone to kind of like remove it okay that is usually what you do in the nail salon where you get gelish nails but instead all you have to do is to peel it off when you decide to remove this gelish nails Oh yes, by the way, if I haven't introduced to you yet, today we are actually gonna be um, talking all about uh, having gelish nails in the comfort of your home, okay? Like I mentioned before, it is without any complex nail technique at all. I am not a certified manicurist, uh, by the way. I am just someone who goes to nail salon very often for the past six years. I have extended my nails, I have done gelish, I have done the craziest nail designs and I'm just now a recreational nail 
a polished consumer. <laughs> okay, so uh, one thing that I really enjoy, I've also shared this on my IG stories, and that is doing my nails at home during circuit breaker. Okay, maybe this is not circuit breaker anymore. Let's call it phase one. Okay, although there's not much difference. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I have actually been enjoying doing my nails because actually before uh, all of this influencer life, I am a normal consumer and I bought a lot of nail polish to play with at home. I've always enjoyed doing my nails. Uh, yeah, so that has kind of like rekindled some memories for me. Okay, so today is uh, one week after I posted that IG stories telling you guys that I've discovered this awesome peel off gelish. Okay, so I want you to take a closer look at how my nails are actually looking now. Okay, this is one week after I have shared with you guys and after I have done my nails. Okay, so like I said, I deal with cleaning chemicals, I deal with very aggressive uh, puppy that I need to play with every day. Not aggressive, mischievous, okay? Uh, I deal with household chores, okay? I'm very, very rough, I exercise. So the fact that my nails are still looking like this, it goes to show that it is legit, <laughs> okay? Hence, I am confident to share this and put all of this in the video for you, okay? I'm loving that there is zero signs of chipping. At first, when I first discovered this product, I'm like, hmm, since it's a peel off um, gelish, maybe it's not gonna be as lasting as the regular gelish. I know one week is not enough to prove, but honestly, normally after one week, you can kind of tell the quality of the nail polish, the manicure. One week is not long enough for you, then I apologize in advance that this is not an accurate enough review for you. Um, you can feel free to go and try out for yourself, but I am definitely gonna try uh, much longer for myself because nail salons are not going to be open anytime soon so I have a lot of time to test it out. Um, this is fantastic, okay, I have been very pleased with my experience with it. I think the good thing about this is um, there is no harm for your nails, okay. Honestly, as someone who does her nails and extends her nails every month for the past three to four years, I would say, uh, without taking a break. <laughs> Each time, whenever I remove my extensions, uh, my acrylics, my gelish, I do notice that my nail bed is very soft and very thin and very brittle. Okay, so initially um, during circuit breaker when my um, gelish, my salon gelish, let's call it salon gelish, when my salon gelish starts to kind of drop off, which is normal, okay? Uh, after one month, it should start to deteriorate, okay? I did notice that my natural nails kept breaking off, okay, into tiny little pieces. It was just very brittle. A slight knock is enough to kind of like chip it off. Well, this happened because of the continuous fouling, okay, of the nail bed because you have to foul it to kind of remove the gelish, to remove your extensions, everything. It's a lot of fouling, so it kind of like keep taking off layers from your nail bed. So it's a no wonder that it becomes thinner, but obviously as long as you rest your nails for like about a month, it will go back to its original state, okay? It's supposed to, hopefully, <laughs> okay? The good thing is I don't need to file this polish off to kind of remove it. So that is perfect. Um, so there's no much harm done to your nails, as you can see. I do hope that nail salons can kind of like incorporate this option in the salon when they reopen because um, there are people who love gelish and also would like to have healthier nails. This is so shiny. It is very high shine on its own. Obviously, if you want to use top coat, you can. I have just purchased it, so today we are going to use it. So we're going to have extra shiny nails, but it's so shiny, you know, without any top coat. So I'm super impressed um, by it. Okay, so yeah, we are going to start painting our nails now. So if you watch to this point, thank you very much. I'm so sorry for the long intro. Uh, we just have to cover everything so that you have a background of like why I highly recommend this um, and why you can definitely look into this option if you are looking into manicuring your nails at home. Okay, very fast free, very enjoyable process and you don't need to be good at painting at all because no matter how you paint, as long as you cure it, it's gonna look nice. <laughs> okay, that's one thing that I noticed. Alright, um, let's talk about the nail polish. Okay, so all these are from one single brand. Um, it's from Nail Deck. 
it is a local brand these nail polishes are made in Singapore itself uh, by the way just a disclaimer I am a paying customer to each and every single product that you see here I paid for it um, because I bought one which is this one okay this is the color this is called um, dusty pink if I'm not wrong okay and I found love with it and I bought uh, one two three four okay I lost count but yeah I bought many more after that as you can see I want to explore more I also bought the cuticle pusher and cuticle cutter um, because I am someone who trimmed my cuticle very regularly prior to circuit breaker so obviously I have to keep up with that if not it will keep building up okay so if you don't have the habit of cutting your cuticles then maybe you can um, skip this option it's not a must to purchase these tools that's what I'm trying to say okay but also by pushing your cuticle back and removing it it actually ensures that the nail polish adheres on your nail bed much better and make sure that it lasts longer as well so just want to put it out there for you um, okay so how did I discover this nail polish um, it's actually through um, Note Spark, I don't know if you heard of it. So before I discovered these uh, peel off gelish polishes, I was actually doing nail stickers at home after my um, salon gelish has all um, sayonara. Okay, <laughs> so um, these are the nail stickers that Note Sparks offer. Uh, once again, I'm a paying customer. Just want to put it out there. Okay, so they do offer. I know a lot of times you see on the Instagram they offer a lot of uh, nail art here and there. But personally, I'm someone who likes classic design. So if you're someone like this, I get your worries. That's why I decided to show the plain designs instead. So if you're someone who loves nail art, no worries. Uh, Note Spark has an amazing array of designs for you to choose from okay so these are the more muted designs that i was using uh prior to discovering these peel of gel polishes okay so um to use this is very very simple okay you just apply the base coat and then you kind of like just measure your um nail bit size this and then just file off the excess it's very very simple if you want me to make a video out of this let me know in the comments down below i can demo it for you anytime okay just let me know because i know this video is getting very long already i was actually thinking of including this section but now looking at my intro it's almost 20 minutes so i think i'm gonna skip that and maybe leave that in another video so yeah uh nail stickers are definitely more affordable when it comes to a v gelish polish um the pure gelish polish is 22 dollars for this size but if you want to opt for the home size this is actually the pro size which is um the size that salons use uh, but if you want to opt for a smaller sizing which is uh the home size okay you can okay it costs uh 14 dollars sgd okay um and this one, I think it's less than $20 per packet, if I'm not wrong. But you do have to purchase the top coat and base coat um, separately. Anyway, this top coat is super, super good. The one with a little bit of blue, they do offer a few options. Um, because it dries like rapidly, like almost instantly. So it was, whoa! And also the nail polish remover, ultra powerful. Um, totally lives up to its name uh, it removes everything for me very very well but when you use this honestly you don't need much um, nail polish remover unless you make a mistake then maybe you want to remove it before you cure it okay so yeah oh yes this lamp okay um, it costs $45 in case you're wondering um, note spark do sell it uh, same price um, Okay, so how did I discover these gelish polish? No spark, they once partnered with Nail Deck. I think they are still partnering because there are still some products on their site. So I chanced upon it and I was just very, very keen and I decided to cut out one color, which is the dusty pink. Okay, which is the one that I'm wearing it right now. And I also bought the lamp from No Sparks aside. But if you want more color options, I would uh, highly recommend you to visit uh, Nail Deck's direct website which I will include in the description box down below for you okay if you like uh, they do sell everything from the top coat which is not compulsory let me highlight that once more uh, it is just a layer for you to add extra gloss to your nail polish um, if you like um, on Note Spark website there's only probably about I think nine colors to choose from but on um, nail deck website itself it has the entire collection okay so this is also otherwise known as light lacquer on the website. Okay, enough talking. I'm gonna start doing my nails now. Uh, 
I don't know how many of you will watch this video because it's super duper long but I just want to get all this information out there for you I don't want to cut short my video just so that um, I make it very compact um, and then leaving out information at the same time okay so I do hope that after this long introduction you have a clearer idea about nails the world of nails and if you want to start painting your nails at home you also can it really costs very cheap imagine if you just buy one color which is $22 right with the light $45 22 plus 45 is $67 for $67 that is not even enough to cover one classic manicure session in um, a nail salon so this is actually a very cost saving option if you ask me honestly I don't even know if I will return to salons anymore unless I miss my long extensions I guess but having these shorter nails have allowed me to do a lot more things uh, obviously I wouldn't be able to do nail art myself so if I miss that I can go back but I'm always a huge fan of classic colors single color design um, so yeah just putting it out there for you you know I'm very transparent with you okay so I'm gonna stop talking now and start doing my nails okay so we're gonna start by uh, removing my nails uh, my current nail polish like I said all you have to do is to kind of like peel it off okay so I'm just gonna peel it off now I read that it is um, recommended for you to peel it off the base I'm just using my fingers it's really, really easy okay here we go so this is how it looks like when you peel it off okay so you can just peel it off like this Okay, so I'm just going to peel everything off camera and then I will come back to you. Alright? Alright guys, I am back and I have removed all my peel off gelish and also kind of like push back my cuticles a little bit and trim them away. I'm sorry if this is not the most ideal. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I guess I just kind of like take off any excess skin that I see so I'm, I really apologize I cannot really advise you on that uh, that's why I didn't show the part where I cut my cuticles because I'm not a nail technician so I don't think I should show you something that I'm not very good at okay so now we're gonna start painting my nails now there are so many colors here okay so I've decided to go with this color this week which is Fair Point. It is a light, very very light nude, okay, like a white nude kind of color. Why is my camera not focusing today? Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go in with that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start now. I'm so sorry, I, I don't really know how to show you the painting uh, process because if I do it this way, then I don't think I'm gonna paint it very well okay so I think I'm just gonna paint it here and then I will bring it to the camera and show you how it looks like and then I will cure it and then show you how it looks like okay I hope that works with you I'm sorry I don't really know how to make a nail video okay so um, let's give it a good shake first maybe and I'm just going to go in now like I said no base coat is needed but one thing that I like to kind of do is kind of like make sure that I get only what I need okay from the bottle and then I start to apply oh this color is beautiful guys show you a preview right oh my god so pretty so um, normally I'll do one layer first one even coat cure it and then I layer it on okay okay so if there's anything that goes outside of my nail bit I just use my nail and kind of like remove it okay so as you can see I did not do such a good job when it comes to painting but let's see what happens when we cure this nail So the packaging says to cure for about 30 to 45 seconds but just to be safe, I cure it for 90 seconds. So there are a few options here, 90, 60 and 30 seconds, okay. So I'll just press the 60. Sorry, I meant just to be safe, I cure it for 60 seconds. Alright, so I've cured the first layer and this is how she looks like. Pretty well done, right? Even though I didn't do such a good job in terms of painting. Yeah, so I'm just gonna continue with the rest. 
All right, guys. So I'm done painting my nails. This is how they look like. Okay, so we are going for a vanilla nude this week. Uh, I really, really like this color. I think it's very elegant and classic. Okay, so yeah, it was a breeze to kind of paint it on like I showed you. Uh, even if you didn't paint it very well, it will still cure nicely. But let's say if you get it on your flesh a little bit like I did. <laughs> <laughs> then it will probably take a few rounds of hand washing to get it off Otherwise, you can kind of like take it off manually if you like Okay, I'm so sorry Like I said, I don't really know how to paint my nails very well it Takes practice Uh, yeah So that is all that I have for you in this video Uh, I'm so sorry that this is such a long video But I really want to get all this information out there to you okay so once again these are from nail deck which is a local company um these nail polishes these peel off gel polishes are all made in singapore uh they don't need any base coat or top coat all you need is the nail polish and a led light okay and yeah that's that <laughs> and when you remove it you don't even need any acetone you don't need to kind of buff it off um, you just have to peel it off so there's no great harm done to your nails in the process and that's why I like it and it's really really big enough friendly okay it's very easy to use to be honest um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video definitely enjoyed doing my nails with you um, let me know if you have any questions regarding uh, these nail polishes from Nail Deck. I will leave all information that you need to know in the description box down below for you. So yeah, as usual, there's going to be a giveaway in this video. Uh, there will be three reboxes curated by me given to three lucky winners. And each time I upload a new video the following week, I will announce three winners in the comment section of the video last week. Okay, so to answer the giveaway, all you have to do is to A, be subscribed to me so that you become part of this family <laughs> and secondly make sure you turn on post notifications so that you are updated each time I upload a new video and that is every single Sunday and lastly remember to leave me any comments down below that would be greatly appreciated and I'll pick my favorite three comments by the end of a week okay so I really really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if the length is too long for you you would like a shorter video next time let me know what other videos you like to watch uh, all feedbacks are welcomed and I really really appreciate and value your feedbacks okay so yeah thank you so much for watching um, stay safe and I will see you next week bye take care